Micromax Evoque Dual Note launched and Canvas Infinity's bezel-less display teased. Vishal Sikka resigns as Infosys CEO over personal attacks. Coolpad Cool M7 launched. It's August 18th and this is 360 Daily. Micromax has launched the Evoque Dual Note smartphone in India and the highlight feature here is its dual rear camera setup and the selfie flash. Now the dual camera setup here lets users refocus their pictures in real time after shooting them. The price of the phone starts at 9,999 rupees and is a flip card exclusive. It will be available from midnight on Tuesday, the same day the company will launch the Micromax Canvas Infinity. Speaking of which, Micromax is heavily teasing its upcoming Canvas Infinity smartphone on social media platforms. The domestic handset maker has already revealed that the smartphone will be announced at an event on Tuesday and will feature a bezel-less display. Does Samsung need to worry? Vishal Sikka has resigned as Infosys CEO and MD a little over three years after joining the company. The longtime executive and COO UV Praveen Rao has been appointed the interim Infosys CEO, while Sikka will remain associated with the company in the capacity of executive vice chairman. Vishal Sikka, about resigning as Infosys CEO, said to the board, Over the last many months and quarters, we have all been besieged by false, baseless, malicious, and increasingly personal attacks. You can read the complete statement on gadgets360.com. Coolpad has launched a brand new smartphone called the Cool M7 in China that's priced at 2,699 Chinese won or roughly 25,900 rupees. This new smartphone is available for pre-order on JD.com. The phone runs on the latest Android 7.1.1 Nougat with cool UI customization. The dual SIM device has a 5.5 inch Full HD display with 2.5D curved glass protection and it's powered by a Snapdragon 625 octa-core SoC and 4GB of RAM. Internal storage is set at 64GB. The Cool M7 will go on sale in China on August 26th. The 2017 edition of Samsung's Galaxy A7 and A5 have received permanent price cuts in India. The Galaxy A5 will now be available at an MOP of 22,900 rupees, which is down from an earlier price of 26,900 rupees. The A7, on the other hand, will be going on sale at an MOP of 25,900 rupees, which is down from 30,900 rupees. Samsung says that the price revisions are targeted at the festive season in the country. According to a new report, Disney is still in early talks with English director Stephen Daldry for a third standalone Star Wars film which is centered around Obi-Wan Kenobi. The Obi-Wan film would be a Star Wars anthology movie just like last year's Rogue One and the upcoming untitled Han Solo chapter. Let's hope this works out as there's no such thing as too much Star Wars. So that's it for this edition of 360 Daily and for all things tech, stay tuned to Gadgets360.com.